Thanks for joining me for another episode of What's That All About? Um, this is kind of a shorter one. I actually, uh, I started in on this because of another one I'm doing down the road, but I got a little distracted, so I decided to make this its own episode. Um, this is in regards to Site R, okay, or Raven Rock Mountain Complex. Um, it's a facility. It's about 260,000 square feet. Okay, it's in Fairfield, uh, Pennsylvania, and it goes by a few names. So we've got Site R, and we've got the Underground Pentagon. So that's nice. Uh, Harry's Hole. I hate that one, I, but it's it's after President Truman's. Uh, I'm not gonna whatever. I'm not gonna go there. It's just a, a naughty name, and um, also its official name obviously, is the uh, Raven Rock Mountain Complex. Now, former vice, it, it actually, it, it, you've probably seen it or heard it. It's not super secret, um, but former Vice President Dick Cheney is said to have spent time at the facility after the 9-11 attacks. In 2017, a journalist and author, Garrett Graff, wrote a book called Raven Rock, the story of the U.S. government's secret plan to save itself while the rest of us die. What a great title to a book. I mean, my God. Um, he's quoted as saying, Raven Rock is the place where nuclear war in the, in the United States would begin. It is a massive, hollowed out, three-story mountain. It's a freestanding city. It has individual buildings. And like I said, three stories. There's unbelievable. I'm some of the picture. I've, I know I'm putting up some pictures. I don't know, like if you can really see them very well. It's insane. First of all, 260,000 square feet. That's nothing to scarf at. Um, it has everything you would need. It's got a fire department, a police department, medical facilities, dining halls. They serve four meals a day. It's a 24 hour um, facility, but four meals a day. What's the fourth? I don't, I would love to know what that is. Snack? I don't know. Um, but it got kind of mothballed. Like it got sort of like put on the shelf in the 90s. There wasn't really a lot of use. It wasn't, you know, they didn't make updates to it. They didn't do this. That. But when the September 11th happened, oh, you better believe they not only did it regenerate and it was ready to go. I mean, when Cheney got there, it was still in high working order. But since then that happened, they have put a lot more expansion money, probably money that we don't know anything about. What is it? They say an independence day, $500 for a hammer, something like that. So we probably bought a lot of hammers as the American public. Um, but it is, it can hold up to 5,000 people in, in case of an emergency. I wonder who those 5,000 people are. I bet you I don't know any of them. <laughs> in 2019, okay, a Russian state um, television broadcast included Maryland's Fort Ritchie in a map of potential military targets that also included the Pentagon and Camp David. Those jerks. At the time, it was it was puzzling to U.S. officials due to the fact that like Fort Ritchie hasn't been used or you know, it hasn't, it was like decommissioned in 1998. So they didn't understand why, but there have, were others that said, well, due to its proximity to Raven, Raven Rock, that's why it was there. It was basically the Russians saying, we know you have something else there. Well, it's not really a secret. There's a lot out there about it. So, I mean, not really sure how safe it would be. Well, actually though, it's, pretty deep underground. So I guess, I don't know. And, you know, the hosts on the Russian state TV, it, they have recently refused to apologize for airing a graphic. The, the, I haven't seen it, but I'm sure it's horrible. It's depicting a nuclear attack that would destroy the UK and Ireland, a traditionally neutral nation, by the way. And they just called it, that would just be collateral damage. They are such bullies. I hate bullies. 
It's that kind of rhetoric that gives facilities like Raven Rock renewed importance, though. It really does. It keeps them around and keeps them functioning and makes sure that everything's ship shape. Now, along with everything else that I've already mentioned, this facility also houses emergency operations um, for the U.S. Army, the Navy, and um, the Marines, Air Force. Now, along with Mount Weather, which is FEMA, that's where FEMA's um, emergency services is located in Virginia in Cheyenne Mountain Complex. Remember way back when I was doing the, the secret military bases and I really thought that Cheyenne Mountain was fictitious? Wasn't that funny? God, I feel like such a moron still because of that. But that's in Colorado and um, it forms the core bunker complexes for the U.S.'s continuity of government uh, plan. And in the event of nuclear war or attack, and thanks to the Russian president, would a He's just a flat out dick. That's what he is. Putin, the pansy. And the latest claims of warning of using nuclear type weapons, you know, you can be sure that Raven Rock and of the likes of the other military bases throughout our country are locked and loaded and ready to go. You know, it's, I know I, I hate saying that because it sounds horrible, but I don't know. I mean, mm. and when you're asked, it, when asked to comment about Raven Rock, a Department of Defense spokesman said, um, that the complex supports the Secretary of Defense, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, and other DOD officials, and it enables the execution of DOD essential functions during emergencies. Well, duh. So I noticed that he says, he doesn't say in case of emergencies. He said during emergencies, which to me kind of insinuates that it's possible we're just in a perpetual state of emergency right now, just because of the way the world is existing. Um, it's, it's horrible, but I feel like that's what he was saying. And it just made me a little uneasy. Um, I do know one thing for sure. The only thing I really know for sure is that I'm definitely not on a guest list for this facility come what may. So maybe, maybe I'll make my own bunker and I won't invite the government to it. Maybe. No, I won't. Um, my husband might, but I, I don't know, but you know, if you enjoyed this video, it's short and um, sometimes they're going to be like that. I just wanted to let you know about this place because I thought it's pretty cool. Um, and uh, I just wanted to give you a couple more details about it because I just think these government bases are really radical. They're just, they're awesome. Rad yes, I just said radical. What is it, 1992? Um, but I hope you're staying happy and healthy and staying weird and take care. Thanks. Bye.